For USCFootball.com, I'm Keely Orr here with Dan Weber. Instant analysis of the first practice of mock game week Tuesday, full pads competition Tuesday. But I think the biggest news to come out of practice today, we were staring at them for all fall camp and we finally got to talk to the freshmen. Yeah, we were trying to, you know, go here, there and everywhere. I got to talk to the offensive freshmen. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so, you know, five or six, uh, as many as you could hope for, Stephen Carr and uh, Jody Lewis and let's see, uh, uh, Andrew Voorhees, uh, I think Shotgun got Austin Jackson, you got Randall Grimes. Yep. Uh, so, so that was, you know, kind of across the board. Uh, it was fun. And for the freshmen, I think they're not quite ready to be interviewed completely yet. But uh, this well, is like, I was impressed that. by Austin Jackson. He was very, he didn't speak or look like a freshman. He said he added on more pounds over the summer. Also, Randall Grimes was very comfortable. So I think they do a good job of media training these guys. Yeah, and, and they really try. I mean, they, they're nice kids. I mean, you really enjoy talking to kids who, who want to tell you what they're thinking, and they're not, you might get a, a question that they hadn't thought of, and say, I'll go, oh, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. Uh, but it was fun, you know, to get a, to get a sense of, of who Stephen Carr is a little bit. Uh, uh, Andrew Boys, um, he's, uh, he's a small town kid, big kid from the small town. And, you know, you would ask him, you know, they, they were surprised how big you are, how good you are. So, you know, you couldn't get him to, no, I'm just trying to go out there every day. I just wanted to come early and, and, uh, and, and benefit academically being here early and, and, and football-wise. But uh, you couldn't get him to talk about uh, how well he's doing. He just, that's not, not something you're going to get Andrew Boyes to, to talk about. Or Stephen Carr. I mean, uh, or Jody Lewis. I think they were all really... You know, this isn't about me. Uh, you know, forget you know if I was a five star or whatever. Uh, they were uh, they're very humble kids. It was uh, it was kind of fun to, to get a chance to talk to them. Mm -hmm. Offensive news: Helton said that the wide receivers have some work to do with Sam Darnold, and we kind of saw that today. There's a little bit of a little bit of mismatching or zig when they're going to zag. Exactly, they're not exactly where he thinks they're going to be, and you got to probably think. That's the wide receiver thing. Clay talked about one of the things that happens on a Tuesday of game week, even mock game week, is you start putting in the game plan for Western Michigan, for example. And that's something different from maybe what they've been doing for the past three weeks. So now you're uh, adding a little wrinkle here, a little wrinkle there. And it might not be. Clay said that uh, the reason, you know, he said if there's one, one day that has caused him to lose the most hair, it's, it would be the Tuesday of game week because that's the, the day you try to install. You know, you might have walked through it yesterday, uh, but it wasn't really a practice. And then today you come out here and uh, they had Pac-12 officials again and very serious Pac-12. I've got to give credit. I mean, we, we've taken our shots over the years at the Pac-12. I really think uh, what I'm seeing, and I was fairly familiar with the Big Ten and the SEC, and I'm seeing a Pac-12 that's really trying to be that same level of uh, football official. I mean, they're working hard. They're talking with the coaches. Uh, they're on top of everything. They're, uh, you know, they're officiating even in the position drills and things like that. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm very impressed with, with the way they're going about their business. And I, I'm, I'm much more encouraged about where the Pac-12 football officiating is going. And I think it was a really good idea. Uh, they ended up throwing a lot of flags today on uh, on kickoff uh, coverage and punt coverage where guys yeah. are, are jumping off sides. And that's a really good thing to get that flag thrown today than, you know, a week and a half from today at the Coliseum against Western Michigan. So, uh, but yeah, there's some, there's some rough spots to still to be worked out and there's no question about that. Mm -hmm. We also saw the return of obviously scout team today. Were you able to glean at all who might be redshirting this year? Well, you know, you wonder, uh, uh, Josh uh, Fallow, tight end, was back, and he did not have a scout team jersey on. Eric Cromenhoek did. So, you know, does that, that tell you something? I don't know. You know, Austin Jackson didn't have a you know, jersey. Obviously, uh, Andrew Voyes did not. Stephen Carr did not. Uh, Randall Grimes did not. So uh, Jack Sears did, uh, and Jack Sears said, you know, I it was, could tell it was heading that way. And we asked him, the, you know, the fact that here's another, you know, San Clemente kid uh, following in the footsteps of, you know, Sam Darnold, who redshirted his freshman year. 
and just a little more than a year later, he's the Heisman favorite. And, you know, Jack didn't want to say, you know, I'm going to try to do that too. <laughs> but he did say, you know, you know, it's there for you. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not a death sentence if you have to be uh, on the scout team. Injury updates. <coughs> Yanni telling my vow he was carted off um, during practice, which is a little odd, but Helton said he has an outside foot injury that he should be back in a couple of weeks. Isaiah yeah, Palomao. A couple of days. A couple, couple of days, thank you. Uh, Isaiah Palomao, though, he was injured on a rojo run last week, and then he said, Helton said that the shoulder kept uh, subluxing, right? And right. so. He has to have season injury, season ending surgery. Yeah, we were talking about that. Teams are getting really uh, very scientifically uh, able to uh, diagnose the, the, the amount of separation and all that kind of thing. We were talking, some, one guy was saying that uh, we know uh, one program has five orthopedic doctors where if a guy gets his shoulder knocked out, he, he's MRI'd and x-rayed before practice is over. The... Uh, the x-rays and the MRIs are sent to five doctors before practice is over. They can tell you, uh, they'll give you an opinion whether it can be rehabbed, it can come back naturally, or it's going to take surgery. And so things are speeded up. So over the weekend, obviously, the USC orthopedic guys decided uh, this is going to take surgery to get it back in. And I'm guessing they're, the diagnostic tools are so good now that they can really tell you by the amount of separation or the fact that it's going back and forth, whether it's even worth it to try to, to rehab it or just say, no, that's gotta be fixed uh, and that, that will uh, knock him out. So there's a, for sure, red shirt yeah. with Isaiah, who, uh, you know, they were really liking yeah. where, he, uh, where he was, but, uh, but he's definitely gonna red shirt. And they're still not sure about Hunter Eccles. Uh, you know, he went in to clean out the infection in his hip joint and, uh, that's fairly serious. He was on a cart today, and uh, that's a minimum six to eight weeks. Well, when you get minimum six to eight weeks, do you bring that kid back? You probably are thinking red shirt there uh, as well. So, I mean, I think, you know, sometimes those decisions are made for you. Mm -hmm. As far as Isaiah goes, I know he was having a really great fall, as you said. Is there any concern about the depth at DV? Well, I, you know, I, I, I wrote for the ghost notes. I just think one guy you keep seeing more and more of is Isaiah Langley. Yeah. Uh, and I think with, with uh, Matt Lopes back, and I think they feel like uh, to this point, and Greg Johnson back, I think to this point, it's okay. Anymore, I guess you could say, well, we're, we're going to worry a little bit, but maybe not quite yet, but, you know, you just – just cross your fingers, I guess, it, you know, at this point that you don't get any any deeper. I think they're still in pretty good shape right now, uh, but you don't want to you don't want to see another one. Mm -hmm. All right, that's going to wrap it up for Tuesday of Mock Game Week. For Dan Weber, I'm Keely Yor. For more, check out uscfootball.com.